Yo, what is up guys? Dale Boy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. So you may have seen this story floating around today. Apparently, Paulie Malignaggi has been banned from all press conferences for Wilder vs Fury 2. And according to Paulie Malignaggi, it's because he felt Tyson Fury won. Where do we even go with this? First and foremost, if that is true... It does reflect badly on Deontay Wilder. I mean, first and foremost, let's be honest. If he's going to follow that that rule, then these press conferences are going to be empty because the vast majority of people felt Tyson Fury won the first fight. Paulie Malignaggi was a lot more vocal than a lot of other people. And maybe that's why the banhammer has been slammed down on him. But, you know, for me, if this is true... It really does reflect badly on Deontay Wilder, and it just really goes to show, I think the criticism from the first fight did get to him, and I think he realises there's some truth to it, as they say, the truth hurts. Now, going into the second fight, will this type of mentality affect Deontay Wilder? Well, it could go one of two ways. It could make him go in the ring too eager to prove himself, too eager to right the wrongs of a first fight, and as a result, he could lose focus of the game plan, make mistakes, and lose the fight. If you're too eager to prove something to other people, you can lose sight of what the actual goal is and what you're trying to achieve. So, Deontay Wilder needs to be mindful of that going into this second fight. On the flip side, he could use the criticism from the first fight as fuel. It could make him perform better, and yeah, he could make that negative energy into a positive and, like I say, use it as fuel. So, going into the rematch with that mindset could go one of two ways. But I'll be honest, this isn't really a video trashing Deontay Wilder and, you know, kind of poking fun. It's more the mindset that Deontay Wilder displayed in this occurrence and how it's just become part and parcel of everyday life where... If somebody's critical of somebody, they're automatically labelled as a hater by that person. If you criticise somebody, oh, you're a hater. You're, you're just hating, you're jealous, or you're hating because you dislike them. You know, there's always some ulterior motive to a lot of people when they get criticised. And this isn't even aimed at Deontay Wilder. This is aimed at people in general in 2020, you know, millennials. Every bit of criticism, there's some type of ulterior motive and you're being victimised. Everybody's a victim in 2020. Everybody. And I'm not really sure where this mindset started from, but I've got a few ideas of where it came from. There's a couple of, you know, areas where I think this has stemmed from. First and foremost, the social media era, where a lot of people go on social media, they'll follow certain people, they'll be sitting at home with their boring lives, coming home from work, 9 to 5, They'll go on social media, they'll look at the people they're following, and they'll see all types of pictures of that person having fun, maybe being in different countries, at parties, doing various activities. They'll look at these pictures and they'll get jealous. You know, they'll get jealous and resentful, and they'll think to themselves, why isn't my life like that? But what you see on social media isn't reality, especially if you're just following friends and people you know. Do you think those people are going to put photos on social media of when they're having a terrible time or when they're really down and out. Of course not. They're going to put the photos on social media when they're having a great time, when they're living life. They're not going to put their bad their, their bad side on social media. So social media in itself, it presents people with like an unrealistic expectation of life. Listen, we've got to get up, go to work. A lot of days are boring. Not every day is being lived at 100 miles an hour. It's just not. Unless you're some multi-millionaire globetrotter, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. In reality, everyday people, we pretty much live the same lives. And a lot of people go on social media and get depressed because they see people with things maybe they don't have, or they think they see people with things they don't have. When in reality, those people are just really putting the best aspects of their life online they're not putting the worst and again that creates that victimhood mentality where people sit there get depressed and say to themselves 
I've not got that, I deserve it, poor me, poor me, poor me. It creates this culture of where winning all the time is important, when in reality, losing in life plays just as big a part as winning in life. I know it sounds cliche and cheesy as hell, but if you've not lost, how do you know what it feels like to win? How can you really appreciate it? Do you know what I mean? And social media creates this, it kind of gives this image that you need to be winning all the time, all the time, all the time. And again, that puts people into that victimhood mentality. It makes them depressed and it makes them feel something's wrong with them. But in reality, nothing's wrong with them. You know, they are just very misguided. They're very misguided. You know, look at how kids are brought up these days in the West. We live in an age now where everybody's a winner. You know, it's almost like no child can lose. You see kids getting participation trophies, you know, for basically failing. When in reality, that shouldn't be rewarded. I know they're kids, but if you install that attitude in them early on, you know, why are they going to improve and strive to be great, you know, strive to actually get somewhere when they've been rewarded for failure? And once you give a child that mindset, that's obviously going to follow them through into young adulthood and full-grown adulthood. You know, that mindset will follow them through and it's very hard to break. And I think that's part of this reason why Deontay Wilder's reacted the way he did. It's because of the era we live in, where people are so sensitive to any criticism. And I think partly that is because of the social media era. And, you know, this winning culture where winning is always important. When in reality, like I said, losing is a big part of life. If you're not taught that, you're in for a shock. Because when you do lose, it's going to hit you a lot harder than it would other people who have not really been brought up with that mindset. How are you going to cope when one of your parents falls ill and maybe passes away? Are you going to be there, be the man of a family, and let's say your dad passes away? Are you going to be there, arrange the funeral? Are you going to be strong enough? Are you going to be strong enough when you have some financial difficulties? Maybe you lose your job, you get made redundant. Maybe your business isn't doing as well as it once did. How are you going to cope in those scenarios? When you've been mollycoddled your whole life, people telling you you're something special. But when shit hits the fan, you realise you're woefully unprepared. You know, a lot of people have really lost track of what's important and I think social media is a big, big part of that. I could go on, but I think I'm going to save some more for maybe another video. Maybe we'll talk about this on stream. You know, a little bit, a, a, a more open discussion on this topic because I find this sort of thing fascinating but yeah this video wasn't to cuss out Deontay Wilder or insult him because I think this attitude this mindset is just rife across the western world the majority of people have this type of mindset you know this victim mentality where any criticism is coming from a bad place and it's not genuine you know, a lot of people are like that in life, from all walks of life. I see it all the time in my daily life. I see it all the time, you know, but it is what it is. I thought this was an interesting topic. I, I enjoyed discussing it. Share your thoughts below. What do you think about this? First and foremost, what do you think of Deontay Wilder's comments? But more importantly, my other views in this video, what do you think about social media's impact on the upbringing of youth where there's this participation trophy culture i'm really intrigued on your thoughts on that you know it's kind of boxing but it's also unboxing related as well we've segued into non-boxing territory and i feel like i want to do more of that with this channel you know i do want to start branching out talking about a few other things obviously this is always going to be a boxing channel it's always going to be primarily a boxing channel, so expect the same regular content, but now and again, I would like to throw something different in there, you know, just as a uh, a break from the usual uh, topics. But yeah, share your thoughts below. If you could like the video, it would be much appreciated. If you are new here, hit the subscribe button. Again, it would be much appreciated. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We'll be back again very shortly. Maybe one more stream this week also, so there we go. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Peace.